but we have sufficient understanding of what it takes to help others make it in this lifetime. There is not a person here who doesn't know what righteousness is. We know what righteousness is. It's doing the things right that God says are right. <laughs> it's not what Barry says is right. <laughs> Sooner or later, I'm going to be wrong. But God isn't. Righteousness is doing what God says is right. And if we're a little unsure about this thing or that thing, we become students of the Bible. And we see what God has to say about that given thing, that given subject. Righteousness is hungering for that. Wanting to please God by living in a right way. There's not a one of us here who doesn't know what it means to say justice. Justice. Do you know how the Bible defines justice? It's different from our legal system. Justice is when people get what they need in order to live. That's justice. That's biblical justice. If there are those in our community who are not getting what they need in order to live, there is no justice in this community until we help them find that and get that and receive that. Can't you just sense that's how God would view justice? It's helping those who are less fortunate than oftentimes ourselves. We understand these kinds of things. We don't lack knowledge of them. We know what they are. What God wants us to do through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit is God raises your understanding of knowledge and wisdom and justice and understanding. He raises that, and that's how he wants you to live the middle part of each day. Use these tools. Don't stand back and say, but I didn't know. I, 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 I don't know the difference between right and wrong. I didn't know what righteousness was. Well, it was just my personality that made me be so stubborn those excuses don't work in the face of God you might get by with it with your spouse for a few years but they don't work one day with God okay not one day you see we've already got the equipment that we need in order to live well and right and honorably and civil with each other. We've got all the equipment that we need. There are gifts given to us from the Holy Spirit. And before he gave them to us, the Holy Spirit gave them to Jesus himself. You start each day in prayer with God. You end each day in prayer with God. And in the in-between time, use your tools. Use them. The very tools that the Holy Spirit gives to us. The Spirit guides. That's how the Spirit guides us. It's not guiding us around the nose from point A to point B. It's, okay, you got a rough day ahead here. Use these tools that your Creator planted within you has grown and spawned and nurtured and developed within you. And you're going to get through today. And that's the only assignment you've got, is to get through today. Use what you've got inside of you. Robert, let's put that wicked paragraph up there. I think on the back of the sermon series that is an insert is a paragraph. Let's read this paragraph out loud together. I cannot believe that I could actually understand what I was reading. Whoops. <laughs> the phenomenal power of the human mind. According to a researcher at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and the last letter be in the right place. The rest can be a total mess, and you can still read every letter by itself, but the word as a whole. 
Amazing, huh? Yeah, and I always thought spelling was important. That's how our minds that's how our minds think. That's how our brains think. We see the first letter of a word. We see the last letter of the word. And you can mess up some of the in-between letters, but they have to be the right letters of how to spell that word. And your mind will still see the right word. That is absolutely incredible. Start each day your first letter with Christ. End each day, the last letter has to be spelled correctly, with Christ. And you'll be amazed the tools that God has given to you to use in between. And it works. Amen. Thank you for joining us on our pre-recorded Sunday morning service. If you would like a copy you can contact the office at 660-359-6762 or email us at wesleyum at sbcglobal.net. Feel free to visit us in person or online at wesleyunitedmethodist.us where you will always find open hearts, open minds, and open doors. May the blessings of Jesus Christ be upon you in every aspect of your life.